Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to all athletes, and welcome here to Gels Park for the first of the winter season, which is the cross country relays here. Uh, last year we had a fantastic turnout, and this year we're hoping to emulate that. We have beautiful weather conditions, uh, but it is on the warm side, so I would remind all athletes to make sure that you hydrate well. Division 1 men was an exciting race, with Sandringham getting away to a great start through the courtesy of Clinton Perrett, who led. Geelong were way back in sixth place, but had good runners to finish them off with. Lee Troop running a, a great uh, race that dragged uh, Geelong into fourth place. With a lap to go, Box Hill led. Steve Deneen in front, with Knox in second place, but Olympian and World Championship representative Craig Mottram was right behind them. As the last lap unfolded, Craig, with his superior strength and speed, took over and led Geelong off to a great finish and uh, set the tone for the cross-country season with the defending champions, Geelong, taking out the first of the Winter Series. Lee Troop, start of the year well, had another win, uh, last year was a breakthrough for Geelong obviously and you're back and you look to be in pretty good shape again. Yeah look it's fantastic, uh, we've been decimated this year with injuries and retirements in our club and I went, wasn't confident that we are going to be able to win today but we're very lucky to have Buster come and run for us and that definitely was the telling factor at the end and we're able to get up and win so it's a great way to start the season off and hopefully we can recruit a few more, maybe even talk a few guys in that have retired back into running for us so that we can defend our title which I think would be very important. Now, obviously you've got uh, Beijing in your sights, how is the AV cross country and uh, road season going to factor into your Beijing preparation? Look it'll be an integral part no different than last year, I used it really really well and it's a great way to actually do some training so I plan on racing really hard at Sandown and using the rest of the races as part of my training like I've done today so you know, I've done this off a 200k week and there's no better training session than running it with a thousand other people so I'll continue to support the season as much as I can and get as much out of it and when I get to Beijing you know, I work, think I've worked out I'll run 7 out of the 10 races on the AV calendar so I'm just thankful that we've got a competition that I can combine my work with. Fantastic. Buster Mottram, first time in AV since 2002 I believe Trevi? Three, I uh, 2003. Uh, grassroots running obviously for you, it's a little bit different to the, the world of the international stage. How did you find it today? Oh, look, it was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, this is where I started uh, back in, in 1999 when I, when I first started my, my serious running career at Geelong with, with Troopy and we did a lot of training together back there and when I get the opportunity, I've always said I'll, I'll run for Geelong again here at the, the AV Series and I'm back in Australia now for three weeks, um, having a little bit of a break and I think this just keeps it a bit re more real for me, I suppose, because, you know, as you mentioned, I'm off travelling the world, competing internationally week in and week out and to come back and see actually the sport, it seems to have grown, believe it or not, since, since I last ran here, so it's, it's fantastic to see all the kids out here in particular on a, a very nice April day um, in Gels Park, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, this is what we term as grassroots running. Um, for the kids that are coming through, how important is it that they start at this level and really put their, you know, their heart and soul into it? I think that it's super important. This is where they get to run against international athletes. This is where they get to run against kids their own age. And, and um, you know, there's a problem in, in track and field that there's not necessarily that... that Feel that that thing that's the, the, the gap is not filled between junior and senior athletics and this is one of the avenues in which they can get the experience of running against senior guys so I think it's super important that they come here and run it's a relaxed atmosphere I'm actually going off to have a sausage chisel now with with some family and stuff and it's a, it's a good day it's a you know it's a, a nice relaxed atmosphere and you can come and run hard and, and enjoy it and I think that's very important because sport is all about enjoyment first and foremost and and uh, this is where I, I learned to love the sport and this is where I'll hopefully finish my career in a few years from now. Division 1 women was won by Knox and they rank at home by Kate Seibold Crosby, just ahead of uh, APS United and Glenn Huntley. Knox.
Okay, I'm here with uh, Andrew Weir, who's the XCR08 Marketing and Prom- Promotions Manager. Andrew, how did the first round of the season get off? Tim, I think it was a very impressive day today. Um, looked like about 1,000 people out, one of the biggest events of the round. Um, last few years now we've been having record participation in the XCR series and um, looks like we're uh, set to repeat that again this year. Or we're, we're well positioned, that's for sure. A lot of people are saying, what is XCR and why have we rebranded? What's, what's the story behind it? Well, the season used to be called the Winter Series, as you know, but when you look at a weather like we've got today and you, and you realise that the series actually goes from April to September, it isn't actually the Winter Series at all. It's the uh, Autumn, Winter and Spring Series. and um, didn't, So we needed a better name to really describe what it did what the series was about. XCR stands for Cross Country and Road Racing, which really is a good description of what the series is all about. We've got a few major races coming up, particularly Sandown. How's the preparations going for Sandown this year? Sandown is shaping up to be another huge, a huge event in the series. Um, Sandown is... is got a big claim to be the fastest 10 kilometre road race in the country. Some of the biggest names in the, um, in the road racing ser- scene in Australia are, will be racing there. Um, every year we have a phenomenal amount of depth in, in, uh, in the series with uh, $10,000 of, uh, of cash and prizes in, uh, up for grabs again, courtesy of sponsors Skins. It's going to be a, a fantastic day out, I think. Andrew Weir, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the coverage of the uh, Cross Country Relays here at Gelspark. This is Jeansy signing off. We hope to see you at the next event in two weeks' time at Lardner Park in Warrigal.